Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today, let's talk puppets. I'm just going to go over the puppets in the game in the early release. I think it's an early release game at this point. I don't think they're going to be shutting it down again, so it's not really a beta. I or It's the beginning intro to the game. It just opened this morning. And I really just want to go over the puppets. All right. So let's look at the puppets. These are puppets that you can play while in the game. And the way the game works is you only can have one type of puppet out at a time. And if somebody uses that puppet, you can't use it also. So you got to choose a different puppet. But if that person dies while using that puppet, that puppet will have a cool down. And then if you die... Uh, yourself using a different puppet it might be available to you to use later on in the game depending on how many times people are dying how many puppets are dying so this puppet here I went to the uh, well basically there's a couple ways you can do it you can go to puppet trunk or you can go to single player game go and open the single player game just pick one of the floors and this gives you a kind of a quicker uh, access to looking at the puppets without looking at the skins and the other interface on that menu. And we'll go back to that other menu, but I think coming here is just a cleaner way for me to do this. So these are the puppets. This is Blade. Okay, the Blade uses stealth and cunning to get the drop on his prey. You will be afraid. Now, a Blade doesn't have a lot of health. They've got these four um, dots, five dots, depending on what's going on. So health, not so much. Agility, pretty good agility. Speed's pretty good. Strength, about halfway. And then stealth being, it seems like, the the, the bread and butter of what this character is, is doing. Uh, and then what you've got for uh, uh, abilities... The character has abilities, weapons and abilities. This one is uh, Blade's uh, Stiletto and Hook. Hands can deal devastating damage if timed correctly. All right, that's basically a melee attack. Dash. I like the dash ability for this character because you can go quick. It has a cooldown, but you go. and it's, it's, like a, it's like a sprint almost, but it's, it's a dash. I mean, that's the best way to name it. It's like a dash forward. So you can dash up and get them with the hooks. Uh, so this is, I like this, uh, this puppet. Uh, the bo it allows you to dash in the direction you're mu moving a 0.5 seconds of invulnerability. So I guess during that dash, you can't be harmed. So timing it is kind of critical. And then the evil eye, and this is the ability that I love the most. It, the button to shoot out your uh, bullet eyes, allowing you to see your prey through walls for three seconds. Has a 45 second warm up timer. Meaning that when you first get in the game, you gotta wait 45 seconds before you can initiate that ability for the first time. But it allows you to see where the human is. And if you have this guy in your party, uh, if you're another puppet and he uses the ability, I believe it works for everybody on the map. So this having this guy in your beginning puppets is a good thing to do because he allows you to find the human real quickly. Leech Woman. Okay, so this uh, Leech Woman uh, drains her prey's blood, preventing them from recovering quickly. Leeches that suck a life, the life's blood away. Not that great a health. About the same as the other blades. Agility, uh, speed. I mean, there's no real... If you're comparing numbers here, there's, it's, this is an average puppet. Because it, all the stats just seem to be three to four. No no fives. It, average. So the uh, weapons and the, uh, the dagger slice and dice your prey by using the dagger's primary and secondary attacks. Each attack will give leech woman a small amount of health. So basically, you can heal yourself... By using the, this ability. It's a regeneration ability. For yourself. Alright. The second ability is Spit Leech. Hold this ability button to hawk up a leech. And let it go to spit out, it out. Each leech that hits you. Each leech that hits will slowly drain your prey's health for 7 seconds in stacks. 
Okay, so you're basically throwing a leech on the uh, human, and if you hit the human, it will do damage over time. That's a pretty cool ability. Okay, and then you got Leech Trap. Hold the button to hawk up a leech and let it go and split to the ground. If your prey walks over it, will slowly drain their health for uh, 12 seconds. So there's two leech abilities. One where you're spitting it and they get on the guy and they do damage over time. And there's one where you spit it and you throw it down as a trap. And the guy's got to walk over it for it to work. I mean, it's pretty cool that they've the game developer has made these puppets really unique to themselves based on the movie, the horror movie, which is really cool. All right, so this guy is the, the tunneler and uh, about average health, not very agile. Speed is good because you've got this ability. We'll get to the ability and we'll talk about it. And strength is good. So if you hit with this guy, if you're this guy's really hard to use if you hit with him. You do a lot of damage, and you can move around a lot. He, This one's only got two abilities. The drill, uh, and you got to start it up. So you hold the mouse button down, and it starts slowly spinning, and then it gets to max speed, and then you go after your prey. Uh, you uh, use uh, the drill, can burrow into his prey, causing them damage, stun, while revealing them to other puppets. So I guess when you're... Um, when you... When you use this ability you have the ability to stun while revealing them to other puppets my guess would be because of blood spurt you're just seeing a mask going on kind of ingenious way of doing that i've used this guy quite a bit i i don't remember him ever stunning the human but i could have been wrong and then the ramming speed the button to send the tunnel or charging into the battle at an aggressive speed so i mean he goes so the best way you do is you get your thing going you put your head down and then you use the the ramming speed and you just ram through the the human they've the, you know you're gonna you need to wait if you're gonna play this uh, puppet you better practice because it requires a little bit of practice it's not really that easy it might seem easier with only having to control two abilities but you'll you'll get it um if you practice all right what do we got here we got torch torch ambushes his prey with fire and brimstone burn it all down and sort it out later. You torch, you will deal with the burning desires in the most appropriate way. Okay, so the health is okay, a little bit more than average. The agility, not so good. Speed, not so good. Strength, pretty good. Because when you light somebody up with this guy's abilities, you do some damage. So that's where I'm, I look at that strength on these, on these puppet meters as what they, kind of what their DPS is is, you know, how how much damage do they do um, when they do hit? And the strength kind of tells me that's the puppet's DPS. It's damage per second. So if you're hitting, if you're if you're timing your hits right, you're going to do the most impactful damage than the other puppets. Okay, so the, the weapon abilities, you've got Flamethrower, which is comes out of his hand, kind of needs a, a load-up time. So if you're timing it right, you got to start it just like the spinny tunneler guy. You got to start it first and then get it going and then you get a good flame. But the flame only lasts, I think, for seven seconds. Uh, hold the attack button to light your prey on fire. Last for seven seconds. Hold the alt fire button to ready the attack. Hold the alt fire button to ready the attack. I don't know what that means. I, I've always just... Uh, I'll have to try that. I hold the alt fire button. Alt fire. I imagine the secondary mouse button. I'll have to try that. I don't I didn't remember there was something different with the flamethrower. I just use it, it goes out, it reloads. I use it again, it goes out, it reloads. Reload time's pretty pretty long too. And uh, when it says it happens for seven seconds, at least one second of that is the thing charging up, not really doing any damage. This one here, this amber grenade. Okay, when you use this ability, you shoot a fireball that explodes within three seconds, causing severe damage to prey that is within its radius. This one here requires some timing. And what I normally like to do is use it when the, when the um, human is on its back because it's not going to get out of the radius in time. Uh, and Or it shouldn't get out of the radius in time. You can use it throughout the match, but its timing is real. Your timing needs to be spot on. Because usually the human's running. 
So if you see him running towards you down the hall and you drop it in front of you and back up, by the time the guy gets to you, it will be going off. But if you were to shoot it at the human while the human's running, the human's just running out of its radius. So it's right here and the humans just continue going. So it's a timing thing. So if you play this torch character or this puppet, just be aware that it takes a little skill. The Jester. I like the Jester as much as I like the Six Shooter. Those are my bread and butter of this game. If either one of these are available, I take them. I really like the Six Shooter a lot, the Jester a lot. Now let's talk about the Jester. Jester loves to draw attention to himself by constantly taunting his prey while assisting the other puppets with various tools. Also joking, as a friend of mine would say. Now, the health is above uh, average, the agility is above average, speed is about average, strength not so much, stealth not so much. Obviously, the character is supposed to be flamboyant, so stealth doesn't um, really uh, make sense for this character. But the thing with this puppet is it's got a lot of abilities. And so you've got to really, this is like, I'm, con I'm thinking when you use the gesture, you're, you're almost playing expert mode because you're bouncing against agil uh, abilities. And, you know, it's not like uh, Tunnler, where it's got two abilities. So you can basically just figure out a style of play. With the gesture, there's multitudes of style of play because the, the, it's got more abilities. You know what I mean? So the knife, slice and dice your prey by using the knife's primary and secondary attacks. All right, throwing dart. That's why I like the gesture is this throwing dart. Harass your play from a uh, prey from a distance by throwing sharp darts at them. Each hit does minor damage and exposes their location to other puppets. So that's what I like about the gesture is I love using the darts from a distance. And that, yes, they don't do a mass amount of damage, but everybody knows where the guy is. So I'm basically tagging him every time I'm throwing it. Okay, so I like to use that ability a lot when I use it. Elixir. A shot of uh, Tolan's uh, secret formula will heal the other puppets by 100 health. Must be within range. Has three charges. Okay. I mean, I didn't know uh, that was... Uh, that's a pretty uber ability. I, I had not... Uh, I don't remember reading that. I just never have used it all that often. Uh, but now that I know what the elixir really does, I can heal puppets. So this is pretty much a healer class. And it's got three charges. So uh, I guess, I'll st I mean, I'm, you know, I thought it, you know, I really hadn't read the ability to this guy until now, to be honest with you. I thought it was a poison dagger. I hadn't used it at all in my games. I was using the, I usually don't die all that often. So I'm usually use the six shooter the whole game and then jester is my secondary is where i never really die all that often so so i'm just i'm learning the game i'm not an expert at the game so that's good to know elixir heals people now what's this one here dodge the dodge ability um gives you invulnerability for two seconds it's okay uh it's a timing thing uh it's you know and it's got a, a long cooldown the potty popper Button to, uh, button to place a party popper on the ground that will trigger, will knock out and reveal your prey. Uh, you know, that's a timing thing again. I like to put them in doorways so that if the human's trying to get through a doorway, they're going to trigger it. Uh, I've had it put in the middle of the hall and the human just runs around it. Uh, it's a really a timing, really kind of how you're going to use it for strategy kind of thing. And I use it for doorways. But my main uh, ability with this guy has been just throwing the, throwing the darts. And then when I get close, using the knife. That's been my, my time uh, when I've played that. That's been what I've done. Okay, six shooter. This has been my uh, puppet of choice. Only because Tarkus is like lazy mode. I find this guy to be the easiest uh, puppet to control. It doesn't require that much brain power to to, to run it, uh, and the the abilities are kind of self-explanatory. But let, let's look at it. The six shooter is a deadly sharpshooter with an eagle eye. The quickest six guns in the West. This world ain't big enough for both of us, partner. So average health, below average agility below average speed, high damage, and okay stealth. Now, I don't really 
find the guy to be that stealthy. I kind of try to hide around corners when I'm being fired at. I play him like a uh, like you would a first person shooter. That's how I play him. And the, his main ability is the pistol. So you get to shoot. I think it's like five rounds each. One of the or maybe it's six. Each one of the six shooter uh, hands is packing a chrome pistol, highly accurate and de deadly at range. Maybe it's six shots. I think it might be five shots. So once you fire the five shots, you've got to reload. And I think it's like a two second reload. So basically get out, shoot what you can, empty your clips, and then hide. And that's what I do. Shoot, 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 and I hide. Shoot, 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 and I hide. So I'm always hiding while I'm reloading. I have not seen the lasso work that effectively, but I finally, now that I know what the ability is, I've tried my timing better, and I have seen it work a couple times. And putting it in doorways is another way it works. So my previous video, I had said I use it a lot, but I've never seen it work. I think it's broken. Well, it's not broken. It's just a, it's a niche timing thing and where you want to put it. But you can put it anywhere on the ground. And if the human walks through it, it kind of slows them down a little bit. I, it's supposed to be for, what, three seconds? But it doesn't seem like three seconds. It seems like they, they slow down a little bit, kind of does a weird wobbly thing the human does. And then they're just off to the races again. So I, I you know, the ability says uh, pull out a lasso, then release it to throw it on the ground as a trap. When triggered, your prayer will be rooted in place for three seconds. Now, rooted in place tells me that they're not moving for three seconds. That has not been the case. And I've been, and I've been really practicing and timing it, and I have noticed it working, but not to the level in which they're saying it should be working. Rooted means to the ground. World of Warcraft, Druid hits you with a root. <clears throat> you ain't moving. Uh, that's what I think about when they tell me rooted here. All right. Pinhead. This is the last puppet for the beta slash early access window, which is open today. I imagine they'll have maybe other puppets uh, that might join the, the roster. I mean, they can do a few um, uh, neat little things uh, with the current puppets. Uh, they could tweak them a little bit or maybe give them another ability or a... Uh, a secondary buy-in ability where you get so much experience that you can buy uh, an ability that allows, you know, the base items to do something else. Um, maybe an emote. But they got, they've got a good package here. I think they've done really well with their starting guys. All right, Pinhead's uh, strength gives him the edge with a massive amount of health, allowing him to take abuse while closing in on his prey. Stay away from the fireplace. High health, high strength, not so stealthy, low agility, low speed. I've played this guy a couple times, and I do enjoy playing him. It's just that he's really hard to play. Uh, it's uh, He's got the fists, slow your play down by constantly punching them. Each hit does minor damage and stun. Uh, I've not seen the stun effect with any of the abilities I've ever used across any of the puppets, but it might be there. I might just not be... Uh, hitting them right. Uh, charge a powerful swing to cause critical damage. Great against down human. So once you get the d human down, you switch to the pipe wrench and, and hit them. Throw brick. The button to pull a brick out and release to chuck it at your prey, temporarily knocking them out. Now, I have yet to get this ability to work. And it probably is one of those one in a hundred kind of, you got to make sure you hit perfectly because I've thrown it and 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 thrown it. And yes, I threw it some more and I've not <laughs> had this thing temporarily knock out anybody. Uh, so it's gotta be a timing thing. So if it's actually supposed to knock somebody out or knock the person on the ground, then Tarkus is just, terrible at this game because it's it, that's not getting it to work okay well, we'll move on to the last one brute is passive you don't have to hit any buttons for it sturdy build prevents him from being knocked out by pushes and kicks so it's a good tune to play so when i look at the puppets i go for the shooter i go for the jester and i go for pinhead those are the ones that i really like to play if they're available during my matches now, Pinhead and Tunnler for me could go either way, depending on what I'm thinking I want to play, my play style is. 
I think I could do either one. Not to say these other puppets are bad. These other puppets, I think, are great puppets. I just, that for my style of play, lazy mode uh, style of play, I'm going for easiest to easier to not so easy, <laughs> to, to not so easy, to having to try, to really having to try hard, to really having to try really, really hard. I mean, I, I, you know, there's a skill base to these guys. And that's what I like about the developer is they made it so that it's skill base and so that each puppet has its own abilities. And if it fits your play style, then, if, then it works for you, right? So quickly, we're going to go back to the original screen that I started this project on or this video on so that you can see that the puppets are here under the trunk mechanism. But here is where you can change the skins. So you earn experience and you can change the looks of your puppet. So this was just, uh, and these perks things are not here yet. Uh, so go back to characters. So that's why I went to the other window uh, just because this is all about changing the appearance of the puppet when you earn enough uh, credits or, or, or experience. I've got 2,000 experience, so I have played a little bit today. Like this guy, it's only going to cost me 2,500 to open up this skin. And the difference is blood. Uh, there's blood on this guy, not blood on this guy. What's this one? I like the black. The black's pretty nice. Yeah, I like the blood too. I like that. Yeah. Well, that's really it, folks. I didn't do, I'm not going to do the humans in this video. This human, this video is more around the puppets and what the puppets are, uh, what they can do out of the box. The box. <laughs> uh, so that you can understand that, uh, you know, each puppet is unique. Each puppet has its own ability. And if you didn't know where you needed to go to go look at that, that was the easiest way. Puppet trunk or go to single player, open it up, and then look at the puppets, right? All right. I'm really enjoying this game. I hope you're enjoying this game. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkus Zone.